Hey, hey, everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called Get Your Hands Dirty. And in this video, we're going to be creating a little mini PHP program that we're going to put together using everything we've learned so far in this if, else, else, if section we've been covering. So let's jump right in. In your Code Dynamic Websites course files folder, we are in 13, Get Your Hands Dirty. Open up your code editor. Make sure to open the index on and practice.php files in the 13 get your hands dirty folder. Practice.php is where we're going to be building what is in the index.php final example. The final example looks a little something like this. Get your hands dirty if else and else if in our sandbox. Here we have welcome human. Please leave the black rhino alone. Another example. Congratulations for being on earth for more than 20 years and a combination. Well then, you do not speak German, nor are you a rhino. So uh, this PHP script is quite the doozy. And uh, I think we should jump right into the code so that you can see how I am building this. And you can rest assured I am actually using if, else, and else if to create this funky little example. So let's jump into our practice.php file. Start off by adding your constant, which will be the title, if, else, and else if and one custom variable, which will be my name. Well, one regular custom variable, which is my name. We're not gonna do the lesson number like we've usually done because this one's just called get your hands dirty. All right, so let's just add those things to get them out of the way. PHP echo title, copy it and paste it in between the small tags. And then uh, at the bottom, we have our year PHP echo date, capital Y, and our name, PHP echo my name. Perfect. All right, great. So now let's add a few more custom variables. And we're going to use these variables for our if, else, if, and if. Blah, 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 blah. Species is one of them. And let's say human. Let's add another one called native language. And you might notice here that I used camel caps and or, or camel case as it's also called. Basically, instead of using an underscore like I did in the previous lecture, I kept it all together without a underscore and I put a capital L. So it kind of has that camel hump. So native language. So you can see that it's two words. It's kind of a programming convention that you can use. And I think I'll try it here just to expose you to a new way of writing your code. So native language, English. And let's add another one. Years on earth. Again, camel case. And let's just say 25. You can put whatever age you want or number of years you want, but let's start with 25. And then now, down in our sandbox, let's add our PHP script. And in between there, let's add the if, else, if, and else skeleton. If, else, if, and else. Perfect. So let's start with the first expression. We're going to say species is equal to black rhino. So if species is equal to black rhino, then we will echo a paragraph tag because you can echo HTML in between our strings there. And let's say, welcome, black rhino. You and the rest of the rhinos will love this big lake. Perfect. All right, our second expression in the else if statement, let's say species is equal to human. So if this else, if the species is equal to human, let's echo another paragraph tag. And in between the paragraph tags, we'll say, welcome human. Please leave the black rhino alone. Perfect. Else, meaning if the species is not a black rhino or a human, echo another paragraph tag. And in the paragraph tag, just write, welcome to Earth. Your kind is unknown. 
to us. Awesome. So let's see what that does. Let's go to our browser and go to check out your example. So you can see that the text spits out, welcome human, please leave the black rhino alone. And the reason why is because here in our PHP script, we're checking to see if the species is equal to black rhino or human. Otherwise, echo this. And because the species matched the human, then we're spitting out this text. Welcome human, please leave the black rhino alone. But what happens if we change the species to black rhino? I think you know at this point. Let's check it out in our browser. Welcome black rhino. You and the rest of the rhinos will love this big lake. Cool. What if we change it to something that doesn't meet or match either of those if and else if statements? Something like donkey. Let's refresh and check it out. Welcome to Earth. Your kind is unknown to us. Obviously, our script doesn't know what a donkey is. It just assumes if you're not a black rhino or a human, you're obviously an alien. So in this case, the donkey is an alien. If we added an extra else if statement that said species is equal to donkey, then we can have a different echo statement here. But right now, it's just defaulting to the else because it doesn't match black rhino or human. So I'm going to change that back there. Now let's move down below our PHP script and add just an H5 tag and say another example. And after that, we're going to add another PHP script. And in between there, let's add our if, else if, and else skeleton. The first expression in the if statement, let's check to see if years on Earth is exactly equal to 20. And if so, echo. Congratulations for being on Earth for 20 years. And with a semicolon, remember that. Else if. Let's check to see if years on Earth is less than 20. If so, echo, not quite 20 yet, young grasshopper. Whoops. Okay, and else, if it doesn't match either of those statements, echo, you must be more than 20 years old. So let's check that out and see what it looks like. Another example, you must be more than 20 years old. And in fact, that is true because in our variable years on earth, we said 25. What if we said 20? Let's check it out. Congratulations for being on earth for 20 years. What if we chose a large number like 94? You must be more than 20 years old. So what if we said, I don't know, 10? Not quite 20 yet, young grasshopper. Cool. So this works quite well. Let's move on and add one more example. So below our PHP script there, let's add H5 tag that says a combination. So a combination of both. PHP script in there, again, if, else if, and else. The first expression we're going to say, native language is equal to German. If your native language is equal to German, echo, willkommen. All right. Else if your species is equal to black rhino, then echo. Oh, you must be a rhino. Else, if it doesn't match either of those, echo, well then, you do not speak German, nor are you a rhino. Excellent. Save that and let's check it out. Combination. Well then, you do not speak German, nor are you a rhino. So, why don't we change some variables up here and see what happens? What if we said our native language was German? What happens now? Willkommen. What if we said our species was black rhino? What happens then? Well, 
you can see that this changes to welcome black rhino, but down here this stays the same because our if and else if statement checks first to see if the native language to see if our native language is German. If that fails, then it goes on to the else if, but because this passed as true, then it's going to echo this first statement. So what if we said our language was French, but we were still a black rhino, French black rhino? Oh, you must be a rhino. So you see how that works? And then the else, we already had that. So we checked to see if we were German. Great. We checked to see if we were a rhino that didn't speak German. It echoed this, and we checked by not having uh, our native language be German or have uh, our species be, species be black rhino. So that echoed the, well done, you do not speak German, nor are you a rhino. So quick little review. We added our three variables here, which we played around with down here in our sandbox, where we did a series of if, else, if, and else um, statements to see if our species to see the years on Earth, and to do a combination of those by checking our native language and our species. So hopefully that made sense, and that was fun, and that got you a little bit more excited because we're going to be diving a little bit deeper into PHP in our next series of lectures, and we're going to start with comparison operators. What the heck is that? See you there.